Hey guys, it's Jim. Thanks for tuning in and coming back. I appreciate it. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the four day flash sale that Skyloom is having on Luminar. If you watch any of my videos, you know that Luminar is something that I just absolutely adore. I think it's the greatest editing product out there. And I'm going to walk through the workflow uh, here in a moment of a particular photo and show you how it works, give you some ideas. Uh, but first, I want to talk about the flash sale, and that's going for four days, as I said. Starts today, which is Thursday, the 19th of July, goes through Sunday, the 22nd, and it's $20 off. Now, the normal price is $69. You can get it for $49. That's if you're a new user. And if you're uh, upgrading, you can get it for as low as $39 if you have the previous, a previous version of Luminar. So, for example, Luminar 2017, you can upgrade for just $39. I think it's a great deal. Uh, keep in mind, I have a coupon code GYMNIX, but these coupon codes do not work, do not work um, during this flash sale, so you can't use it. I've got a link below, and that is an affiliate link, so if you click that and then purchase something, I make a small commission that helps me keep uh, paying for and creating these videos that uh, hopefully you love. Speaking of which, I've got 60 some odd videos about Luminar, and um, so if you go ahead and purchase Luminar, whether it's an upgrade or a new purchase for you, you're saving money, but then you have all these videos to come dive into, and literally it's hours of, uh, I was gonna say entertainment, um, it's probably not that, uh, but it's hours of education, um, maybe a little entertainment, uh, to help you get up to speed on Luminar. So if you're a new user, dive in, get it for 20 bucks off, it's the lowest price ever, and if you're a uh, a current user of an older version and want to upgrade, you get it for as low as 39 bucks. So check out the deal, link is below. Now let me show you a photo, and boom, here it is. Now this is a finished photo I took in Italy. That's the before, before I did anything in Luminar, and that's the after. And let me show you the side-by-side -side comparison, before and after. So let me walk through this, and uh, we'll dive in and I'll show you how Luminar works. Okay, so here's the photo with just the raw develop filter applied. As you can see, I did a little bit of a temperature and tint move, added some contrast, bumped up the shadows, added a little bit of clarity. It basically just gave it a little kick to get started. So there's the base photo and there I am now. So after that, I added the clarity filter, bumped that up to give it another little bit of punch. And what clarity does is gives it a little bit of depth. And because I was uh, back away from the scene, I want to create a little bit of depth. There's a little foreground, um, basically an empty sky, if you will, in the background. And I want to create that sense of sort of depth in the photo. And clarity is good at that. Next up was color temperature. And this was, uh, I kind of do my typical thing, which is I kind of go a little bit left in temperature, more to the blue, and a little bit right in tint, which is more to the pink. I didn't exactly do that here, but that's generally what I do. Uh, in this case, I actually went a little bit left with the tint, but let me show you the before and the after. It's very subtle. You may not even be able to tell in the video, but Anyway, that's what I did. Part of the beauty to me of Luminar is all these filters. Um, there's 50 filters and you can just stack them and stack them and stack them. And another beautiful thing about Luminar is that it has a layers functionality. So you can stick new layers on. If I wanted to put a new sky in, I could do that. If I wanted to apply a texture, I could stick a layer on and do that. So there's a lot of flexibility and power. Um, now I'm not gonna get into the layers uh, or I'm not gonna do that in this photo, but I wanted you to be aware of that in case you don't yet have it and weren't aware of that. It's a powerful feature and I've got plenty of videos. I'll put links wherever they go. Uh, you can check them out uh, with my playlist with all the 60 plus videos that I mentioned. Uh, next up was the saturation and vibrance. And you can see that really had a pretty big impact on the photo. Let me turn that off. So there we are before and there it is after. A little bump in saturation, a little bump in vibrance. And then I added split color warmth. And again, this is a very subtle change. You may not even be able to notice it, but split color warmth to me is an underrated filter. It's very cool, um, but it allows you to separate the warm colors from the cool colors and sort of adjust their color tints uh, separately. So I like that quite a bit. Uh, next up is color balance. And let me click that. And you can see I made a pretty decent impact on the photo there. So color balance, uh, if you've ever used the tone curve, uh, you'll know that with like the red, green, and blue, you can kind of move those around in the tone curve filter. Color balance is basically just moving those colors around as you would in the tone filter or tone curve without having to get into the curves. Um, so it allows you to separate shadows, midtones, and highlights and move colors around. It's incredible. It's super powerful. I, I say it all the time. It's probably my favorite filter because I'm, I'm really big into sort of playing with colors, sort of massaging them and trying to get them to look just how I want them to look. So. Uh, here, I went a little bit to the cyan with the shadows and then a little bit to the blue as well in those two different sliders. Midtones, I kind of just moved everything a little bit. I went a little bit to the red um, 
and a little bit to the blue, but then uh, with the magenta green, I kind of went more to the magenta. And then the highlights, I went a little bit to the red, and that's bringing up a little bit of pink in the sky. So let me show you. There's the before, and there's the after. I think a fairly dramatic uh, difference in the photo. And as you saw, the numbers, the amount of slider movement I made on this filter is pretty minor. So that's another reason I like it. Really powerful, doesn't take a whole lot to have an impact on your photo. Next up is Image Radiance, another one that I really love. It gives a little bit of a romantic glow. I just added a little bit there. And then I did Orton Effect on top of it. And it's a similar filter. Uh, and in fact, I think I have a video about comparing the two. I'll put that in one of the corners. Uh, they're slightly different. I'll let you watch that video, but it, just a slight bump in Orton. And the two of those together, I think, really gave a little bit of softness, kind of a little bit of dreamy kind of, um, you know, sort of look to the photo. And it adds back a little bit of shadow, which I think is helpful too, because I'm trying to create a mood here. Um, and if I go to the original, you can see that we're coming along. I mean, the colors are looking a lot different. Contrast is much higher. The water looks way better to me. It's, it's a much deeper blue. Uh, and this is the Mediterranean. This is Cinque Terre, Italy. So that's the Mediterranean, which has that yummy kind of uh, deep blue at uh, in that kind of time of day. So uh, next up was the tone filter. And here, a little bit of contrast, a little bump in smart tone, and that's it. Just a simple uh, sort of adjustment there. And then I came in with, with the adjustable gradient. And as you can see, um, I bumped a little bit of warmth in the top of the photo, and then in the bottom, I did a number of adjustments. Uh, when I turned it on, you probably noticed that the bottom got a bit brighter. So there's that. I added some contrast and also added some warmth because I was getting a lot of blue, and I wanted to kind of balance that a little bit. Uh, so those are all my straight up filters. Now I get into a couple of other things where, uh, you know, I'm at the point, let me show you the before, there's that, and the after, where I say, God, you know, I, I need to do some fine tuning. Everything I've done so far has been kind of global, meaning it's impacted the entire photo. But one of the cool strengths of Luminar is that you have filter masking. So you can apply a filter and then mask it in without going to another layer. Just mask it in where you want it on the photo. So here I took saturation of vibrance down and all I did is I just reduced that in the houses up on that hill. So let me show you the mask. I'll click on the brush and I'll show you the mask. And you can just see I just kind of painted it in there and all I did is I took saturation down by about 30. And that's because, let me show you the before, it was getting, getting a little too kind of powerful there, and I don't want to overdo the saturation. So that was that. Next was HSL filter, and it was a slight uh, decrease in saturation in the blue, and that's it. Very simple. Uh, here's another filter mask, and this is structure. And here, what I did, if you look at the photo, I basically smoothed out the sky and the water. So let me show you the before and the after. If you look at the water and the sky, it's, especially the water, you can tell a lot. It's very smooth and dreamy. Um, and structure is generally thought of as something that you slide to the right to give a little crunchiness. But another great thing about Luminar, slide it to the left and that structure goes negative, add some boost and it starts to do the opposite of crunchy, which is kind of dreamy and smooth. And so I use that to create a little bit of mood in a lot of my photos. And I think it does a great job of not just smoothing things out, but acting in some ways kind of like noise reduction. Um, and so I just masked that in um, there, as you can see. I kind of went around uh, the boats and the rocks and then you know skipped all the stuff on the uh, all the land mass, if you will. So that was a simple way to do structure. Uh, but then I came back with structure again, and this time I uh, increased it and applied it just to the houses or the land mass, if you will. So let me show you that mask and that's here. So that's the beauty of uh, structure is, uh, and how Luminar works. You can stack the same filter multiple times, mask it in differently, all on the same layer to really achieve and customize and fine tune the look that you're going for. Uh, and then I was down to my last step and that was split toning. And this was a very subtle change as well, but basically, let me show you what I did. I masked this in and you can see, I basically added a little bit of uh, saturation to the blues, uh, excuse me, to the shadows and the highlights, uh, basically everything except for the houses and the core landmass. And basically the reason I did that is because I wanted to bring up some of the colors there. And split toning is great at that. It will apply globally just like any filter will, but then as you see, I can just go mask it in with a brush and I get to the final look. So this one I took a little bit of more pinkish red into the highlights and a little bit more blue into the shadows. So I went from that 
to that as sort of my finishing touch. And that was, to me, kind of the cream on the top. And I'm done, really. That's how my uh, photo came out. So there's a before and an after. And I'll show you the whole thing here, before and after. That's the power of Luminar. I love it. I use it on every photo. And uh, I, just, uh, I just keep talking about it because it's so fabulous. And it's on special, right? So you get 20 bucks off between today and the end of the day, uh, Sunday. So jump on that if you're interested. Click the link below. As I said, that's an affiliate link. I make a couple of bucks if you do that. And I thank you for your support. It really means a lot. You have no idea how much it means to me. And um, that's it, my friends. More videos real soon. Come back. I'll be back here talking about some more stuff. And I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. More stuff coming every week. Thanks, friends. Take care. See you soon, and adios.